Right. Now, before we start, because I know people clicked on this video because they assumed I'm hating on Oak and Soul builds, I am not hating on Oak and Soul heavy attack builds. If people use them, that's fine. Personally, they're not for me because I like using a dynamic rotation and that's just my personal preference. Hold your negative comments until you hear what I have to say. If you have a problem with what I talk about in this video, you might be a part of the issue. Also, this video is not a call-out video and I will not be using any footage from dungeons I have done with the kind of people I'll be talking about. Let's just get into it. This is a nightmare! You guys are the ones! Don't ruin! Dungeons. Can't you see that? Yeah, no, just kidding. It's not gonna go like that. So, hey everyone. I've had something that's really been grinding my gears these last few months, and that is fake healers. More specifically, Oak and Soul healers. There's nothing more annoying than pugging a veteran DLC dungeon and getting some guy who thinks he can queue as a healer because he runs the Twilight Matriarch. Settle down, brother. Casting the Matriarch would mean that you actually need to pay attention to others during the dungeon. As a tank, it doesn't quite bother me because I can keep myself alive most of the time, but it's the DPS who I'm concerned about. They're dying left, right, and center because this bozo over here who is too busy holding down left mouse button and doing a dance all the way over into Sean or something. Also, I know there's a big issue with fake tanks too, but I never experienced this as normally me or one of my friends tanks when we queue dungeons. Don't worry, I've heard the complaints from others and I know there's plenty out there. Oh, and don't get me started on fake DPS. That's probably a completely different topic for another time. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about though. Fake healers and fake tanks have always been an issue in the game and I think this is a result of a much larger issue with PvE in general. However, in the last year or so, I have noticed a huge influx of fake healers who are just Oak and Soul heavy attack builds. As the self-appointed dungeon pug queen, I would say I've had plenty of experience in the queue for the past two plus years. Me and my friends have all noticed a massive influx of people faking their roles over the past year or so. I just don't understand what goes through these people's minds honestly. Like. Don't get me wrong, I don't care if someone fake heals or fake tanks a normal dungeon or even a base game veteran dungeon, as long as the fake tank has a taunt and the person who's faking their role is doing the most DPS out of the group. If you're doing less DPS than the other two DPS combined, then I'm sorry, uh, you would have actually been way more useful as an actual healer or tank. However, there is no excuse for fake healing or fake tanking a veteran DLC dungeon. I can already see all of the get good comments coming my way. And again, it's not a massive issue for me as a tank, but it generally makes things way more difficult. Especially if you get a dungeon that needs healers like a uh, Moongrave Fane or a Scrivener's Hall. Imagine how new or lesser experienced players feel when they get some dude who just heavy attacks with their lightning staff and doesn't do anything else to help the group. I think Ogun Soul has significantly contributed to this issue, but why and what else could be the reason? The Oaken Soul Sorcerer build itself utilizes a strong burst heal, which some might think is sufficient enough to complete a veteran DLC dungeon with because it heals them and another person. This could be one reason why people think it's alright to fake heal or tank as an Oaken Soul build. Like I mentioned before, fake tanks and healers have always been an issue in the game. This is due to a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, there isn't enough people who want to play support roles. I could make an entire other video about why people don't want to tank. And I think there's a lot of people who also don't want to heal as well, including me. You will never catch me dead with a restoration staff equipped, I swear to god. Becoming a support role is generally much more harder than being a DPS. While yes, it's not easy to be a good DPS, it's definitely much harder to become a good healer or a tank. 
I think people just don't want to put in the effort or don't even know where to start with learning how to perform those roles. And I think this ties into the overall issue with Oakensoul. I'm going on a tangent though, uh, back to the original point. People fake queuing because they don't want to sit around for 30 minutes in the queue as a DPS. It really comes down to patience and how selfish you are. What goes through the minds of people who think it's a good idea to queue a fake healer for a veteran Graven Deep is beyond me, but I would say I'm a pretty considerate person and that's probably why I don't understand. So how does Oakensoul tie into all of this? As I just mentioned, it's about effort. Oakensoul heavy attack builds are an amazing way for players who are less experienced to get some good DPS numbers and complete harder content like veteran dungeons. Heavy attack sorks are one of the easiest and straightforward builds out there and you get decent results from it. Some people see it as the lazy way to DPS. It's been a huge turning point for the community in general and it's divided the masses. Even if you hate the mythic, you cannot deny it has enabled players who are new, lower skilled, disabled, or casual to do better DPS and complete more content. We've seen a massive influx of players getting into veteran dungeons and trials after it was introduced into the game, which means more players are queuing for dungeons. The issue itself is not in the mythic item, the issue is with the user and their intentions. I'm not saying that everyone who uses Oakensoul is lazy or looking for an easy way out. However, I believe so many fake healers and tanks are already lazy people who are attracted to the easy build. These people who are faking their roles clearly do not want to put in the time and effort into learning how to actually tank or heal. They clearly don't even have the time or patience to sit in the queue as a DPS. And again, as I mentioned before, I don't care if people fake tank or heal normal dungeons or base game veteran dungeons. So basically my theory is that people who would have historically not been capable of doing enough DPS for veteran dungeons have now obtained a way to hit higher damage numbers in the easiest way possible. See, this goes back to effort and Oakensoul builds require very little effort at all and that's a fact. These players think they're doing good enough damage and have a heal, typically the Twilight Matriarch, and assume that it's sufficient enough to queue for a veteran DLC dungeon. There is a possibility these people are also queuing for a random veteran dungeon, however at that point if they're gonna fake tank or heal a random daily dungeon they might as well do normal, like what the hell. Oakensoul builds have unlocked a new kind of awful that's already existed in the game, but was previously displayed through different means. Oakensoul itself is not the problem, the problem is the jerk who decides to fake their role. I think a lot of people who fake heal or fake tank fundamentally do not understand the game and are selfish as hell. Whenever I call out someone for fake healing, they normally get really aggressive and toxic. I had a vet ice reach run the other week where the fake healer said that healers are for noobs after me and my friend called him out after the DPS were dying. The other random DPS we queued with was a low level and suffice to say, we kicked the fake healer. I feel really sorry for newer players who have to deal with these kinds of people in the queue. I cannot imagine how frustrating it might be and it could possibly put new players off of PvE content as they might not even understand why they're dying. As a long time experienced player, I can immediately spot a fake healer, but someone who's only 400 CP and has been playing for maybe a month or two definitely won't. They might get frustrated that they're dying so much and they might not understand that what's going wrong is not necessarily their fault. For a lot of players, it's also their first time in veteran DLC dungeons and they need lots of support and guidance when learning mechanics. People who fake tank or fake heal take the genuine learning experience away from new players and it can ruin the fun for everyone. The game itself also tends to have difficulty with getting new players into harder content and it's disappointing to me that a small handful of people are contributing to these issues. So how can we fix this problem? Well, honestly I don't really think there is an answer to that question. There will always be rude and inconsiderate people in the game who fake their roles. 
the best thing we can do is call them out and kick them from groups. How do you spot one in the first place though? It's pretty easy once you know what you're looking for. The first clue is weapon type. While tanks and healers both run staves, someone who is faking their role typically doesn't have a weapon that matches their role. If you start seeing the tank or the healer just spam heavy attack with their lightning staff, you probably have a fake. Another obvious sign is the boss not being taunted or your group's not receiving any healing. If the tank is running around the room like a headless chicken and the boss is slapping everyone in the group, you probably have a fake tank. If you and the rest of your group members keep dying, you probably have a fake healer. Another sure sign is the amount of health that the tank has. If it's lower than 35k, you're probably going to have a bad time. So what is the best course of action? Well, me being me, I would suggest you call the person out. I don't condone bullying at all, but make sure you tell them that you know that they're faking their role and they are not a helpful member of society for doing so. Word it however you want, really. If you just kick them from the group without saying anything, then I feel like the message doesn't quite sink in as much. And that's step two, kick them from the group. If the other group members won't accept the vote to kick, just leave. I know it can suck waiting the cooldown period, but the sacrifice is worth your sanity, trust me. The amount of painful groups I've had to deal with is just too much to bear at this point. I know there's been a lot of discussion in the past on changes Zenimax could make to also solve the issue of people faking their roles in the queue, but it's a bit difficult to truly get rid of it. I've seen some people suggest that you should only be able to queue as a tank if you have a sword and shield, or a healer if you only have a restoration staff. But this is easily bypassed because you can just change your gear once you're in the dungeon. Some players also choose to run two ice staffs on their tanks, and typically a lot of PvP builds run a restoration staff back bar. Some people have also suggested that you should only be allowed to queue as a tank if you're over a certain amount of health, but again with the introduction of Oakensoul, we've seen some builds with like 30k plus health. I think both of these ideas would never work. My solution? Make playing a support role in ESO more desirable. The root cause of the issue is that healing and tanking does not appeal to many players. Many people consider tanking to be the most difficult role to learn and play in the game, and there is a lot of pressure on you. I remember how intense it was when I was learning to tank and I would cause the whole group to wipe repeatedly. It's not a nice feeling having almost everything dependent on you when you're learning. I think that if the game made it easier to get into tanking, more people would want to try it out. Now I'm not saying to make tanking easier, I actually always love the challenge of it, but there's just so many things that put people off of it. As for healing, I know there are a lot more healers than tanks, but I feel like people are also put off learning how to heal because there is a lot of dependence on your ability to play your role as well. I think some people just don't like the idea of healing, um, <laughs> I sure don't. I've never tried to be a healer and I never will. It looks boring to me and I think that could possibly be another reason why people don't want to tank or heal. The amount of gear you need to get to be a tank or healer is a lot too. If you want to do veteran and hard mode content then you need lots and lots of sets. A lot of these sets come from trials and again these could be hard for players to obtain if they want to try healing or tanking. Most groups will not let someone heal or tank if they don't have the right sets, and Craglorn trials are a mess, so don't even go there. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, fucking killing a lot of shit. What are you doing? Uh, we're done, so can you hurry it up? Speaking of organized groups, most groups are apprehensive to take a healer or a tank that is learning their role, which again definitely puts people off learning how to play these roles. There are a whole multitude of issues that I'll probably make a video about in the future and go more in depth on because these are just huge issues within the game community. Let me know if you guys have any other thoughts on these issues as well. Wow, okay, so that was a long tangent that sparked from my hatred for fake Oaken Soul healers. TLDR, fake rolls suck, Oaken Soul has made this issue worse because it brings out the worst in people, 
There really isn't a way to fix the fake rolls in the queue, and I think the only possible option to mend the issue is to make playing a support role more desirable. I think any sane person who plays ESO dislikes getting a fake tank or fake healer in a veteran dungeon. The only way we can take action with this is to just keep doing what we're already doing. Tell them to stop and kick them. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. It would be sweet justice if they wasted more time fake queuing and getting kicked repeatedly instead of just waiting patiently in the queue as a DPS. I want to know what you guys think about the whole overarching issue of fake healers and tanks, so let me know in the comments. I would also actually like to hear some of you fake tanks and fake healers pop off in the comments too, and just tell me why the hell you would queue for a veteran dreadseller as a fake tank. Holy shit, brother, want to buy a heal. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know this video probably wasn't super informative, but I do enjoy talking about wider issues with the game and community in a commentary style fashion. Of course, this has been an ongoing discussion for years and I always love keeping the conversation going. So if you guys like what I talk about, share it around. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Link to my Twitter is in the description as well. Have a good one.